Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a video all about oily skin and um, what product you can use to kind of help you, I guess, stay matte all day long and products you could use to kind of help with the oil. So um, the first thing I'm going to talk about, I guess, is what I use for skincare. I do use Proactive. I use the whole Proactive system. I don't use their moisturizer anymore. I use this one by Skin Food and it looks like this. This is the... Um, sparkling apple pore cream from skin food and it is a gel moisturizer a gel consistency as you guys can see and um, what's really good for oily skin is um, a gel based moisturizer you don't want anything with oil with any added oil anything like too thick obviously that can not only clog your pores but it's gonna make your skin more oily and we do not want that so in my experiences um, a gel based moisturizer has been the best bet for me um, I have tried proactive moisturizer before I used to actually use the green tea one for I think three years so that one is a more of like a cream slash ointment consistency not like this it is actually very light as well and it did work really well for me but I wanted something to help kind of minimize my pores a little bit because those of us with oily skin can kind of have um, large pores um, I have really large pores like around this area and um, so this definitely really helps with that it's meant to be like a pore refining moisturizer so it does like dual things and not only moisturizes my skin but it helps um, kind of minimize my pores a little bit so that's that. So that's just about my skincare routine. Um, I might do a whole video on it. We'll see. Um, I do use like different ki different kinds of masks and stuff. Not only to help with oil, but if I'm breaking out or anything like that, um, I do have a couple masks that I really like by Lush. The next thing I want to talk about is primer and foundation. So I actually don't use foundation. I stopped wearing foundation late last year not really late last year kind of like midway through last year i just kind of got fed up with wearing foundation every day so foundation is not really a must-have for me like i don't think that i need foundation on an everyday basis like with my job i work at a hospital i don't really need to wear you know i don't need a whole lot of coverage and i don't need to wear foundation kind of every day and that can kind of bring me out a little bit so in my opinion foundation especially this type of foundation which is like a um, almost full coverage foundation is meant for like really like special occasions or stuff like that or for filming or whatever but I actually don't use foundation anymore but I just wanted to mention this because I know a lot of you do wear foundation on an everyday basis so the primer that I used to use was this one this is the this is the benefit professional this was awesome at keeping my skin matte. It has kind of a thick consistency a little bit, but it did its job. And it is a pore refining primer, so it does definitely help with um, large pores. So this is actually a tiny little sample that I got in a top box, I think in the month of September. But yeah, that's a really, really great product. Um, I've tried different kinds of primer before. I used to use the Makeup Forever primer. I used to use um, the Benefit one as well. And not... Um, not this benefit one, but the, I don't know what it was called. It was, it smelled like strawberries and it was like a pink primer. That was okay. If you want something that's definitely going to keep you matte, the Professional is a really good one. Um, and the foundation that I used to wear was this one. Previous to this one, I actually used the Makeup Forever HD, which um, was not a matte foundation. But um, I did really like this when I used to use it. So it has this kind of applicator. It's just like a squeezy applicator. So it looks like that. Um, and this is a completely matte foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Matte, Makeup Forever matte Velvet Plus. So there it is, all at the back of my hand, blended in. It did provide a really awesome finish. Um, it kept me matte for most of the day. I did have to blot a few times, but it it is really beautiful foundation if you're looking for a foundation. Um, my personal preference is using BB creams on an everyday basis. Um, I actually use the Skin 79 Snail BB Cream on an everyday basis, but that does not keep my face matte whatsoever. Um, I will have to blot like at least twice throughout the day, which is not like too bad, but but um, if you guys want a, a BB cream that has really good coverage, almost like a foundation, and will keep your skin pretty matte, it does um, apply matte. And um, I do still have to blot with this on, 
but not as often at all. It just it doesn't really make my skin that oily. And it's what I'm wearing right now. It's what I've been wearing in my past few videos. And this is the Liuelli Triple Dissolution BB Cream. Why I prefer BB creams to foundations is because of the skincare benefits. Um, I like Asian BB creams because I think they work better with my skin. Um, and just the color selection and everything, it just works better. Um, what I like about BB creams, not only for the skincare benefits, I feel like you need something with SPF for an everyday basis. Um, at least in my opinion, I have um, pretty light, you know, like fair complexion, and it can get sun damage pretty easily, right? And we do not want wrinkles, we want to prevent wrinkles, so I like a product that has SPF in it. Um, and I don't like sunscreens because that makes my skin oily. I'd rather just have it in one place. So BB creams are my personal preference. So this one is a another pump applicator. Or the other one was a squeezy tube. Never mind. But this is a pump applicator. As you can see, the other one is on my hand right there. Um, I'm just going to pump a little bit out. I actually use this with a brush. But um, it looks like that. It kind of has like a gray consistency at first and then it like completely blends into your skin tone and um, if you compare the two on my hand like the Makeup Forever one is up here and then the Leo Ellie one is down there they're both pretty matte and I do really like the finish of that as well I don't personally use that on an everyday basis just because it's a little bit thicker it feels more like a foundation in my opinion but yeah it does it does a really good job and as well as, as concealer, I do have a matte concealer. This one is by Laura Geller, and this is the Real Deal Concealer. Um, and it looks like that. What I like about this is if you have oily skin, you know, you're more prone to breakouts, um, like redness or what, whatever. It helps so much, seriously. It is a full coverage concealer, and a little bit goes a long way, trust me. Like, I wasted so much of this because, like, I would put... I just put it on my hand and apply it and honestly like it's a flawless finish I actually got this on hot look for not that much I think it came in a set with something else but I do really like this concealer and I highly recommend it if you have oily skin and as you can see the BB cream kind of like blended in but yeah so the foundation and the BB cream they're both matte the foundation hasn't completely dried yet but yeah um, and I have two powders that I want to talk about briefly as well as um, a blotting paper which I'll talk about right now actually so um, with oily skin it comes with the territory you do have to blot your face um, throughout the day or whatever um, my favorite blotting paper is this one by clean and clear it is not the paper blotting sheets I don't think that those work very well for me personally like I feel like I would waste so much of it because it just wouldn't do a good job at absorbing the oil but this one is just these um, blotting linens or whatever they are not paper they're just like this plasticky type material and you just when you blot your face this turns like a different color <laughs> like it turns a deeper blue so I do really like these I feel like I waste a lot less product using these because I only need about three to blot my whole face so when it comes to powders, I do recommend two of them. So I have them right here. They're both um, from Asia. They're, they're both Korean brands. You can purchase them online on eBay, and they're not that expensive at all. I believe that this one was around $20, and this one was around $15. At the most 15 I've I think I've paid less for this like maybe around 13 or something but um, they both have SPF in them like I said I'm a big huge believer in SPF and protecting your skin so this one is by skin 79 I know I've talked about this a lot I have a full review on the BB cream that's associated with this powder as well as this powder um, but I do want to talk about it again because this is an awesome setting powder looks like that I use this every day I used it today obviously um, and it is a matte powder has no shimmer the only problem is that it has only one shade and it's kind of this like beigey tone I guess it does add a little bit of coverage which with a BB cream like like a lighter coverage BB cream this works really well at just evening out your complexion so I do really like this powder I think it does a good job at mattifying my face and um, it lasts a few hours you know before you need to blot it in my opinion it just depends on kind of what's under it I guess this powder is by Leo Ellie and this is actually made for oily skin it's actually an oil controlling powder 
and they make one for dry skin as well. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is in the color Blooming Ivory. It comes in two different shades. I think that this one is the lighter one, I believe. I'm not completely sure. But that's what it looks like. It's another matte powder, and this is what I would actually keep in my purse. And um, after blotting my face, I would just apply this. So um, that's pretty, and it doesn't, both powders are not cakey whatsoever. This one has very little coverage, that's why I keep it in my purse, so um, I can just apply it throughout the day, and it doesn't cake up my face or anything like that. I also recommend a setting spray. Um, I use Max Fix Plus. Um, it's actually behind the camera right now, so it looks like this. And I've tried different types of setting sprays. I always go back to this one, especially in the winter time. It is hydrating, but I do think that if you have oily skin you don't want to like completely use products that will dry out your skin so I do like this because it is refreshing like it helps you know it helps um, make my makeup stay on longer um, I've also tried Urban Decay's D Slick I think that works really well as well it just didn't really last long for me like the bottle it didn't last long so and it was kind of pricey as well so I did not repurchase that one so I hope this video helped you if you have oily skin. If you have any like suggestions on products I should try or products that you love, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!